hello guys welcome to solid tutorial now we shall see a java view application by client server based authentication using tomcat security real arm so in the previous session we have learned about basic model digest model and form based authentication model with declarative way of application level security now we shall see client server based authentication so in client server model we have to configure a digital certificates we have to configure a digital certificate model that is generated by using one or other algorithm one or other algorithms so here i'm going to use rsa algorithms so generally normally people used to call reverse shamir and adelman algorithm fine so what is the flow of execution to work with this uh, client cert model with respect to our java view application so the flow of execution with this uh, just understand the flow of execution when the browser window gives the request to any web resource program of your application then server sends the configured digital certificate then server sends configured digital certificate to browser window to browser window so one thing is keep your mind whenever we give the request to any web resource program of a your application then server sends configured digital certificate to browser window what is the purpose of this digital certificate once the browser window accepts this digital certificate then there onwards entire there onwards entire data sent by browser window goes to server in encrypted form only to protect the data for this server to protect the data for this server for, for to protect the data for this server should get the request by using http yes protocol means http or secured socket layer protocol so whatever the data you want to send over the networks in the form of encrypted in the form of encrypted data that encryption should be taken care by this digital certificate and this digital certificate need to be created before going to deploy our applications so let us see the procedure to work with the client cert model authentication so first of all we need to generate first of all we need to generate digital certificate by using rsa algorithm with the support of jdk supply tool called key tool so guys this is the command to work with the key tool so already i created let me delete this existing file so this is the key tool file let me delete this file so like this file will be created so first of all let me delete and i let me create once again let me create once again fine so go to command prompt and uh, let me copy here copy go to command prompt and simply you can paste paste so key tool key tool hyphen gen key hyphen alias test one before going to create let me check the port number if the port number is black blocked or not so there any port number because i'm going to use yes 8443 connector port so let me check net stat hyphen a hyphen o so Four four five eight double four three TCP port home PC listening triple two four fine process ID listening eight yes it's open now eight double four three so you can see here mark we are going to use this port number okay guys so again remaining ports are eight double zero five and uh, fine fine guys so let us see now. Let me scroll up and uh, let me paste. So hit enter. So you need to enter the password. You need to enter the password. I'm entering somewhat like H C L one two three. Enter. Re-enter password. H C L one two three. Your choice password, guys. So enter the first and last name. Suppose here I enter Yogesh Bosle. enter the name of your organization unit csmss csmss chatrapati shahu college of engineering then enter the name of city aurangabad name of state maharashtra country india each um, the name and everything is correct yes correct enter y <coughs> so 
so enter the password for test one so test one can be anyone so i'm entering here uh, and already enter password hcl123 re-enter hcl123 okay guys so once you complete this process once you complete this process you will get you will get uh, you will get uh, you will get the details suppose if i enter here so i entered here these are the details so for my time being control v for my time being i entered the details like this password okay let me remember hcl123 i entered this will not be visible so again entering and re-entering the password so here also i entered here also i entered okay fine so this about tool generates rs algorithms rs algorithm based digital certificate as a dot key store file so here is dot key store file so let me go to my key store file so under c ohm ohm location so all it's here i am at here only so guys you can see here dot key store file this is a key store file just now i created so let me check properties and when, when it was created it was created one minute ago today one minute ago fine guys okay now we shall see about uh, now my key store file is ready now let us configure the above digital certificate in tomcat server by enabling https protocol in tomcat home conf server xml so where is my tomcat my tomcat is here so different servers this is my tomcat 7 apache tomcat here is the conf and open tomcat here you can find server.xml file so open with edit plus so this is the file you can see here so in this file you have to search you have to search connector tag control f connector tag so find first connector tag you have to comment this first connector tag so i am commenting here first connector tag so here commenting first connector tag comment first connector tag and then find next first second and third and enable so here enable third connector tag enable third connector tag connector tag so here i enabled now this is my third connector tag now in this third connector tag we need to add following entries so comment comment the connector tag that points to regular http protocols so you can call your first so here in my case uh, first connector tag okay in my case and let us enable third connector tag that points to protocol HTTPS. so here you will find this tag you will find this same in tomcat 7 in tomcat 7.0 fine you may have different tomcats we need to add these following properties so let me add these following properties into these following properties so we have kept the password hcl only so let me go to my server and here let me add these properties so the properties name let me add here hmm. key store file assign initialize so let me go to my home and slash dot key store so get the name copy and go to here paste paste it and i need to configure one more key store pass so double quote what is the password i mentioned here hcl123 right so this is hcl123 so copy copied and paste paste it guys okay fine one space fine so guys uh, hcl123 client admission false as it is fine just save the file save the file saved now 
after that we'll go for next step so scroll down to added these two properties so make sure that the web application that deals with the basic or digest model of authentication is deployed in tomcat server for this purpose refer tutorial number 223 for basic model or tutorial number 224 for digest model authentications or you can call 69 basic security app or 70 digest security app so let me scroll up already what we learned last time so this is about form based security let me go for yes guys you can see here 224 tutorial number 224 and java web application enabling digest model authentication declarative way security so you have to follow this procedure step one please refer to tutorial number 224 so keep your application ready i'll show the source code to you also this is about tomcat 6 real security real arm and uh, this is about tomcat 7 security real arm okay guys so then don't keep the space and blah 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 so after that we need to develop the web application develop the web application having web resource programs and enable digest model of security on web resource program declarative approach of security in web.xml file so we are having web.xml file and the classes will have first srv so this is the configuration we did in web app so first srv first srv first srv srv1 then constant we applied authentication we give all the nodes point also star 1 star 2 url pattern this is the url pattern we have configured here and we give the get based request then we have resource collection close then authentication admin gui we are enabled for admin gui so scroll down and uh, here we can use authentications then srv1 is the url pattern then get based request then we have enabled here admin gui so admin gui only roles will work whose role is admin gui then we have enabled here digest model and uh, run and test the web application that's it this is about the same and before that we have learned about before this 224 tutorial number 224 so tutorial number 224 and let me scroll up this is tutorial number 223 so this tutorial deals with the basic model please please complete this application first and then come to this approach so here also same steps up to here we have seen then tomcat 6 security alarm then tomcat 7 security alarm then don't keep the space and we need to add them manually then uh, this is the web application and this is the web.xml file entries okay boss fine just changes here the role name here applied for manager gui and the authentication model is basic here i provided authentication model is basic okay guys and finally scroll down so same stuff uh, run and test the web application okay guys so i'm going to use i'm going to use uh, project services files okay guys so here we are going to use uh, basic model or digest model we will use digest model so if you look at the digest model src java first srv and web.xml webbinf web.xml so let me close all my existing stuff let me open web.xml file and uh, let me open first srv so first srv contain this stuff process request and here added uh, some these other stuff so this is label mm, context path then paid successfully displayed re request dot get remote user on authentication type that's it 
you can use basic also find boss and uh, if you scroll down so you will find here do get and do post calling process method so if you go to web.xml file first srv just now we have seen whose url is slash srv1 and here authentication here we are dealing with the get method and we are enabling the role called admin gui and as uh, authentication model is digest that's it guys so that's it so let's run the application now fine my application is ready so page down okay we reach here so now we are working with 70 direct security app so let me so test the web application if possible restart the server test the web application using okay guys so we'll use but don't use us https huh? so use using https don't use normal http regular http so i'm planning so i request you to use https over ssl so that's what i made here http yes not http keep in mind okay HTTP yes so I'll show you that error so it's a time to start this web application so right click so where is my projects so digest model so web pages no web pages web bnf source packages default packages first SRV it's a web.xml file projects and right click run already in use so i think uh, how do i stop the port number forcefully mm -hmm -hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. actually i want to stop this port number forcefully double three zero six eight double four three so instead of using eight double four three can we use any other port number eight triple four let me search here control f control c control f how many times it is available eight double four three and let me check here yes it's in use so i'll change a double four three some other port number a triple four i'll go for a triple four a triple four because you can see here uh, starting of tomcat failed so by default if you have a double four three it's already in use so what i what i will do i'll change to a triple four i will start i'll save this file file save all uh, let me rerun the application let me see how it works so where is my project and right click run mm, not able to shut down so guys uh, let me start my tomcat starting tomcat failed shut down port number already in use so the port number is already in use so i want to stop the port number how do i stop so let me connect my lan cable otherwise let me start So guys let me kill the port number so let me find out how to kill let's start find string port number listening i want to kill the port number so guys uh, 
task kill port id port number so let me kill this port number so right click paste so port number and uh, where is that port number just change this port number so guys uh, 8443 triple two four triple two four so let me check here once again so triple two four has been terminated and uh, it is telling that uh, where is that when I try to start the server a double zero five also it is showing so let me start the server uh, also a double zero five where is that a double zero five so search for a double zero five uh, Mm -hmm. A double zero five triple double two four. Okay, guys, double two four for two times. Here is one. So right click mark. So I try successfully try to kill this port number. Triple two four and here also triple two four because already it was in use. So what I'll do? I'll keep here A double four three as it is. A double four three as it is. Now I kill the port number. I kill the port. So let me try to restart once again so run where is my project i'll try to run once again so run yes it's trying to run successfully very good Waiting for Tomcat. Meanwhile, let me test the application. Admin UI role. So to understand this role, I have to go. I have to open Tomcat hyphen users dot XML and scroll down. Admin UI enable for. Last time we admin UI enable for Mauli. Mauli and Yogesh so I will use Mauli and Yogesh okay so go here and uh, control C I'm using here copy so guys uh, control V so HTTP yes otherwise first of all let me show you by using localhost localhost okay normally HTTP without using yes sir. without using yes I am trying to show you so 70 SRU1 you won't get anything nothing because here protocol is HTTP now let me try by using HTTP yes so here is HTTP yes HTTP yes okay and when you hit here what the hell so guys your connection is not private so what shall we do advance and proceed to localhost yes now you can able to enter the username and password what is the username and password I have configured so go to tomcat so mauli is mauli is there for admin gui because role is role is admin gui we are enabled look at here admin gui is the role for digest model so i am using mauli mauli so right click copy copy and here paste paste sign in so you can see here mauli and digest model mauli and digest model so same let me try by using firefox also and uh, let me use this uh, copy and uh, here let me paste keep in mind here http yes http yes you can see here http yes right so here i am highlighting here and you can see here right 
warning potential security risk ahead so use advance scroll down ask accept and risk accept the risk and continue so click on accept risk and continue so guys uh, go to tomcat iphone users you can see here admin gui role for yogesh also so this time let me try by using yogesh in from from firefox so hit ok so guys you can see here yogesh and digest model yogesh and digest model so guys this is the explanation about uh, client cert model client cert model even you can work with the basic model also not to worry but uh, one thing i learned one thing i learned how to kill the port number so guys uh, to kill the port number I need to enter here process ID. I need to enter here process ID, guys. So let me use this as it is for my reference sake. Uh, let me use this node point here. Um, so here node point. If port number is already used in use to check the port number is already in use so guys then tomcat may not run on 8443 because already in use so to check to check port in use and to kill to kill specific port id with process id so guys specific port id which let me use here same stuff so here I want to use active connections so let me use copy mark and uh, active connections so I want to kill all this not all some specific only enter and uh, so guys I don't want to write all this stuff so So to kill the port number mark okay to kill the port number port id a double four three and process id triple two four so here you can able to kill in this way fine guys so a double four three and uh, fine you can see here I want to kill this ports and fine guys so fine this is a command and you can enter here triple two four so to kill So guys um, please practice this program and this is this might be the last tutorial of solids because almost we have finished all the parts of the solids please do practice please do practice and thank you for thank you for your patience
Patience learning. Patience full learning. Patience full learning. So guys, now we shall see process. Now we shall proceed for JSP. JSP course. So let's complete. Let's complete. Okay, guys, fine. So, guys, you can see here, but uh, so Mauli and Iris models. So you can go with same with the basic model also. Again, Tomcat stopped. Right? You can see here. So guys, uh, if I try to run the port number, so let me run with basic model. So go to projects, so project. Now I'll try to implement same on. Uh, meanwhile, let me, okay, it is not because A443 port already in use. So you'll see this error, if this error occurs. If this error occurs, so let me go to node point here. Error occurs. If error occurs, okay, fine. The other time you can follow the same process. Okay, guys, fine. Again, I had to kill. So, okay, fine. Let me kill again. Now, where is the port number eight double four three? Let me five three five three eight double four three mark eight double four three listening three nine two eight double four three listening three nine two and uh, anywhere else these are zero zero zero. 392 392 so i have to kill this a double four three three nine two three nine two now i can start the tomcat basic model so before going to proceed for basic model guys so projects and 69 basic model web apps web bionf so web source program and simply okay we'll go from here if it is not all in here we'll see from here also so we've got xml file and here first srv so this is web.xml file so here also first srv same configuration just uh, changes here i'm using manager gui role manager gui role and authentication model is basics so these are the two different steps that's it and first srv is this one same 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 not to worry anything great okay fine so let me try let me run this basic security app and okay fine guys it's running successfully because we have killed the we have killed the process with the port number and let me try with this uh, let me try with this now but uh, please use https and first of first of all let us understand the role so here we enabled the role is web.xml manager gui the role is manager GUI and basic model. For basic model manager GUI, Tomcat users and base for manager GUI, you will find here Shruti and Yogesh. Shruti, Yogesh and Boss. Only Shruti can enable login, Yogesh can enable login and Boss. Whereas Mauli could not login because Mauli's role is admin hyphen GUI. So let me try with Shruti. So here. So here, let me try with S H R U T I. Yes, H R U T I. 
sign in so guys shruti and basic model shruti basic model let me try same here also and uh, now this time you won't get now you can see here control plus this time you won't get warning directly you will get yogesh and basic yogesh and basic fine guys and uh, even you can go for boss also yogesh i logged in already so let me close and let me reopen close all tabs and let me relaunch once again now i want try browsing boss so b o s s boss because boss role also so if you look at here for boss user password and username so here is the manager gui here is the manager gui so i enable manager gui also boss is admin gui also also manager script and admin other roles but where if you try to if you try by using mauli you will get forbidden so let me close and let me relaunch once again so i'll close this and let me use this url and let me open the firefox once again and paste here you will try using mauli m a u l i m a u l i but do observe mauli is having admin gui role and if you look at the if you look at the browser sorry if you look at the web.xml file the role name administration constant that is manager gui manager gui and here i am trying for admin gui using mauli mauli so you will get forbidden so you can see guys forbidden not allowed not allowed okay fine guys so this is the way that you can able to try that you can able to understand client cert model again port clash we need to stop kill not found so oh, 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 oh. these number of ports so again we have to search one by one uh, a double four three maybe clash so can you ever can you ever find yes five zero eight zero five zero eight zero five zero eight zero has terminated you can see here mark five zero eight zero okay guys fine so guys this is the way that you can able to try for basic model or digest model basic model or digest model guys okay guys so done fine guys thank you thank you for your patience for learning and now we shall proceed for jsp that is java server pages course java server pages course we have successfully finished till now till now we have successfully successfully finish solid course solid online course in the next session we shall see about java server pages thank you guys thank you for watching keep learning in this lockdown because it's lockdown period it's 23rd may 2020 so guys we shall see about Thank you.